Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade from All From Jade and today we will be making this cute heart together. So I think it's the perfect gift for your loved ones for maybe Valentine's Day or even just for any occasion. This one was made with jumbo yarn and this one was made with blanket yarn. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make one with worsted weight yarn like this one. So you could use this pattern to make any size. So this is exactly the same pattern but two different yarns and crochet hook. So I hope you'll like it and let's get to the materials now. So you're gonna need some worsted white yarn. Uh, I decided to use that yarn just because it's easier for me to show you the stitches with that yarn compared to the jumbo yarn. You're also gonna need some polyester stuffing a stitch marker, but you could also use a bobby pin or a different color strand of yarn, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, this is optional, but if you have one, you can use it. And I'm also using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. I've also listed all the materials you'll need for the jumbo version, so if you wanna check it out, it's gonna be in the description down below. So let's get to it. I'm gonna use my crochet hook and my red yarn but you could use the color that you want so we're gonna start by making a slip knot so if you know how to make a magic ring and if you're not using the jumbo yarn because it's really hard with the jumbo yarn but if you know how to do it you can do your magic ring otherwise i'm just gonna uh, put the link to my video where i'm showing you how to make a magic ring uh, right here above and so for this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it really uh, beginner friendly. So I'm going to start by making a slip knot. So I'm just wrapping my yarn around two fingers like this. I'm going to turn my fingers so I see my nails. I'm going to go underneath the first strand of yarn and then I'm going to grab the second. I'm going to pull my hook and then I'm going to remove my fingers and pull on both tails. Okay, so this makes a slip knot. And what you want to make sure is that when you pull on your yarn tail, uh, the loop should tighten on your crochet hook, like so. Okay, and then we're going to start uh, by chaining two. So this is one. So to make a chain, you have to uh, yarn over. So the yarn goes over your hook and then you pull through. Okay, so I've made my two chains. And now I'm going to go into the second chain from the hook. And I'm going to work my first single crochet stitch. So to make a single crochet stitch, I'm going to use the yarn under technique just because I love the look of that technique. So I'm yarning under, the yarn goes under my hook. I'm pulling through the chain. So I have two loops on my hook and then I'm going to yarn over. So my yarn is over my hook and then I'm going to pull through both loops. So this is one single crochet stitch. And I want to make eight single crochet stitches into that here is second chain from the hook. And if you were uh, doing a magic ring, then it would be eight single crochet stitches into your magic ring. So I'm going to go back into the same chain and I'm going to do seven more single crochet stitches. So now I have two, three, and four, like this. And if you're working with jumbo yarn, uh, take the time to just tighten up your loop so you're going to hold the knot and then you're going to pull on your yarn tail uh, to close that hole a little bit more. And then you're going to work four more single crochet stitches. So I have a total of six now, seven and eight. And once again, I'm going to hold my slip knot and I'm going to pull on my yarn tail to close the opening like this. And now we're going to start our round two and we're going to work into the first single crochet stitches that we made. So if you're not sure where it is, you can just count from the end. So that would be my uh, stitch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I know I'm going to insert my hook into the, into that stitch right here. And I'm going to work an increase. So an increase is two single crochet stitches into the same stitch. I'm going to make my first single crochet stitch right here and then I'm going to place a stitch marker into the V of that stitch right here like, like this and then I'm going to make another single crochet stitch into the same stitch. 
So this is my first increase and I have two single crochet stitches in my round. Then I'm going to go into the next stitch and I'm going to work another increase. And I want to do that around. So we started with eight single crochet stitches. So we want a total of 16 stitches at the end of round two. So I'm going into the next stitch. I'm making two single crochet stitches. I'm going to do that until I reach my marker and then we're going to start round three together. Okay, so I'm at the end of round two now. I'm going to pull on my yarn tail again to close the opening. And my piece looks like this. So I have 16 stitches around. And then I'm going to remove my marker. I'm going to start round three. I'm going to start with a single crochet stitch into the first stitch. I'm going to place my stitch marker back. And then I want to make an increase into the next stitch. So I've made one single crochet stitch here and then I'm going into the next and I'm going to make an increase. And remember, this is two single crochet stitches into the same stitch. And I want to repeat that sequence around. So I'm going to make one single crochet stitch, one increase, one single crochet stitch, one increase. So I'm going into the next one regular single crochet and then into the next to make an increase. And I'm going to do that around and I uh, will have 24 stitches in my round three. So we're going to meet at the end of round three. So I'm at the end of round three and I'm finishing my round with an increase. And I will have 24 stitches in my round three. Okay. And now for rounds four and five, it's going to be the same. So you're going to make one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. And what I mean by that is that basically you just keep the same amount of stitches, which is 24. So I'm going to make one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. And I'm going to do that for rounds four and five. So I'm going to do round four with you and then you can do round five on your own. So I'm going to make one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. And quick reminder, you can always change the speed of the video in the settings under playback speed if I'm going too fast or too slow for you. Another reminder if you're a beginner, make sure to count your stitches at the end of each round to make sure that you still have the right amount of stitches. This is really, really important. Okay, so I'm at the end of round four. My piece looks like this. And before I let you work, I want to show you what is the wrong side and what is the right side of stitches. So there's always two sides of a piece. So the piece with the yarn tail would be the wrong side and the, the other side would be the right side. So right now I'm showing you the wrong side and if I flip it, this is my right side. But after that, it's a personal preference. So if you prefer to show the wrong side of your stitches, that would be fine. But I just prefer to show the right side. And now I'm going to let you work and we're going to meet at the end of round five. Okay, so I'm at the end of round five and it looks like this. And I want you to, uh, so finish your last stitch. You're going to pull on your crochet hook. And then we're going to cut our yarn. So you're going to need a pair of scissors. And I'm going to cut my yarn. Not so long, but still, I would say maybe 15 centimeters or six inches. And then I'm going to pull my yarn through. Okay, just like that. And then you can leave your stitch marker here if you're a beginner. I'm going to show you how to make an invisible fast enough. So to do that, you can use your crochet hook or you could use a yarn needle, but I'm going to show you with a crochet hook. So I'm going to go into the next stitch after the stitch marker. So my stitch marker is in this stitch. I'm going to go into the next stitch and I'm going to insert my crochet hook from the inside going out like this. And then I'm going to grab my yarn tail. I'm going to yarn over with it. Then I'm going to pull it through the stitch. 
Okay, so what we've just done is that little yarn here, okay, strand. You can remove your stitch marker now. And then we're gonna go back into that last stitch that we worked, which is this one. And I'm gonna grab the back loop only and still from the inside going out. So I'm going from the inside of the piece, grabbing only the back loop. So this is my back loop. And then I'm gonna yarn over with my yarn tail again and I'm gonna pull it through. And this is my invisible fasten off. So you see that there's no knot and there's not a big like step between my last and my first stitch of the round. Okay, so it looks like this. So this piece we're gonna put it um, aside and we're gonna use it a little later. So what I want you to do is make another piece like this one, but do not cut the yarn. So when you finish round five and you're at your last stitch, then it's here that we're gonna meet. So do not cut the yarn, do not make an invisible fast enough for the second piece, okay? And basically what you're doing right now is that part of the heart, okay? So we've just made one, you're gonna do a second one, so you can just go back to the video if you don't remember how to, and then we're gonna meet at the end of the second piece. Okay, so I'm at the end of round five for my second piece. It looks like this. I still have my stitch marker and I didn't cut my yarn. So now I'm gonna remove my stitch marker and we're gonna work for round six, 12 single crochet stitches in that second piece. So I'm gonna make my first single crochet, place my stitch marker back, and then, and then I'm gonna work 11 more single crochet stitches. Okay, so I've worked my 12 single crochet stitches in the second piece. And now you wanna grab your first piece that we made together and we're gonna join them. And to do that, I want you to join into the fake stitch that we created when we made the invisible fast enough. So if you're not sure where it is, you can just pull on the yarn tail and you should see that stitches moving. So if I'm loosening it up, if I pull my yarn tail, this one is moving. So I know it's that one. So I'm gonna simply insert my crochet hook into that stitch. And then I'm gonna work a single crochet stitch. Yarning under, pulling through the stitch, yarning over, pulling through, okay? And then I'm gonna work 23 more single crochet stitches. So remember that we had a total of 24 stitches uh, for each piece and I've just made one. So I'm gonna do 23 more and I'm gonna meet you when I reach the other side of that piece. Okay, so I'm on the other side of the first piece and I have one more single crochet stitch to do. And then um, I'm gonna go back into the second piece. And I just wanna make sure that you insert your crochet hook into the uh, right stitch. So if you hold both pieces, you should see that there's a strand going into the second piece. And this is where you had a single crochet stitch. So you wanna go into the next, where you see the V shape. So I'm gonna insert my crochet hook into the right stitch. And I'm gonna work a single crochet stitch. And then you should have 11 uh, stitches left. So I just want you to make one single crochet stitch in each stitch until you reach the marker. And we're gonna meet there. Okay, so I'm at the end of that round, which was round six. My piece looks like this. Okay, and you wanna make sure that you have 48 stitches around. So we had 24 and 24, so we did both together. So it's a total of 48 stitches. And now I'm gonna show you how to uh, close that opening here between the, the pieces. So I'm gonna pull on my crochet hook, I'm gonna remove it, and I'm gonna show you with a crochet hook because if you're using jumbo yarn, uh, you're gonna do that with your crochet hook, but if you wanna do it with a yarn needle, you could do as well. So I'm gonna insert my hook into um, both sides, and I'm just gonna go underneath kind of a stitch and then going into the other side, okay? And then I'm gonna 
bring my yarn tail on the other side. So I'm just yarning over and then pulling through. Okay, all the way. Then I'm gonna bring the yarn on the other side again. I'm gonna go underneath the same stitches on both sides. Do the same, so I yarn uh, over and then pull through. So that's two times. And if you flip it, you should see something like this. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna bring my yarn tail again on the other side. I'm gonna bring my crochet hook under both sides. And then for this time, I'm just gonna uh, fold the tip of the yarn tail here, and I'm gonna bring it on the other side. So basically what we want to do is a knot. So I just want to keep a little loop like this. I'm pulling my yarn tail and then I'm going to bring my yarn tail into the loop to make a knot. Pull tight. Okay, so this is secured. All good. So now let's start round seven. I'm going to remove my stitch marker. And for round seven, you're going to do one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So you're going to keep your total of uh, stitches at 48. Okay, so I'm just going to do one more with you. So remember, we're just making one single crochet stitch in each stitch around to have a total of 48 stitches. And we're going to meet at the end of that round. Okay, so I'm at the end of round seven. My piece looks like this. Okay, and now for round eight, we're going to start our decreases. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that. I'm going to remove my stitch marker and I'm going to start by making four single crochet stitches. So I'm making one, placing, placing my stitch marker, two, three, four. And now I'm going to show you how to make the decrease. So I'm always using or almost always using the invisible decrease for my uh, amigurumis. So I'm going to use the front loops of the next two stitches. So the front loop is this loop here. So the closest to you. And this would be the back loop. Okay. So I just want to use the next front loop. I'm going to insert my hook into it. Then I'm going to go and grab the next front loop. Okay, so I have my working loop here and my two front loops. I'm going to yarn under, pull through the front loops, and then yarn over, pull through both loops. So this is one invisible decrease. Okay, and then we're going to repeat that around. So four single crochet stitches and then one decrease. So I'm going to do that again. Single crochet stitch, single crochet stitch, single crochet stitch single crochet stitch and then a decrease so only taking the front loop of the next two stitches yarn under pull through front through the front loops yarn over pull through both loops i'm going to do that one more time with you four single crochet stitches so that's one two three four and invisible decrease Taking only the front loops, yarning under, pulling through, yarning over, pulling through. Okay, and you're going to repeat that around until you reach your stitch marker and you should finish with an invisible decrease. Okay, so I'm at the end of round eight. My heart looks like this and I have 40 stitches around and I finished with an invisible decrease. And now for round nine, you're only going to make uh, single crochet stitches around. So you're going to keep your stitch count at 40. And I'm going to meet you at the end of round nine. So just make one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. Now at the end of round nine. Okay, we're going to start round 10 together. I'm going to remove my stitch marker and I'm going to start that round by making three single crochet stitches. Okay, so I have my three single crochet stitches made and then I'm going to work at an invisible decrease just like we saw uh, before. So I'm going under the next two front loops, yarn under, pull through, 
yarn over, pull through. And we're going to repeat that around. So three single crochet stitches, one decrease. I'm going to do it one more time with you. So single crochet stitch, single crochet stitch, single crochet stitch, invisible decrease. Okay, so repeat that around until you reach the marker and you should finish with an invisible decrease and 32 stitches around. Now at the end of round 10 and I have my 32 stitches around. And if you're not sure what round you're at, you can just count them. And to count them, you're going to start at the top where we did our chain two. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I'm going to do my round 11. So to do round 11, you're simply going to work one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So you keep your stitch count at 32. And we're going to meet at the end of round 11. Now at the end of round 11, my heart looks like this. And we're going to do round 12 now. So I'm going to remove my stitch marker. And we're going to start by making two single crochet stitches. One, two. I'm going to place my stitch marker into the first stitch of my round. And then we're going to work an invisible decrease into the next, using the next two stitches, just like we always do, making that invisible decrease. And then I'm going to do that one more time with you. So two single crochet stitches, one, two, and then one invisible decrease. So you want to repeat that around, making two single crochet stitches and then a decrease. Two single crochet stitches, a decrease. And you should finish with an invisible decrease and 24 stitches around. Okay, so this is the end of round 12 and I have 24 stitches around. And for round 13, you're going to make one single crochet stitch in each stitch around, making your stitch count at 24. And we're going to meet at the end of round 13. Okay, so this is what my heart looks like after 13 rounds. And now we're going to uh, start stuffing. So I'm going to use some polyester stuffing. And I just want to add little um, amounts at a time. And I want to push it into the top parts of my heart first. And then on the other side. And then I'm going to speed up the video um, since I'm just stuffing it, but you can still see what I'm doing. So I'm, ju I'm just pushing the stuffing into both top parts and then I'm going to stuff a little here and here. Okay, so I'm going to speed up the video now. Okay, so I've started stuffing it. It's not... Um, too stuffed right now because I still have stitches to work and I don't want to be um, <laughs> I don't want to be stuck in my stuffing so my heart looks like this okay and we're gonna start round 14 now and we're gonna start by making one single crochet stitch and a little tip once you have stuffing in your piece it's sometimes hard not to take any stuffing when you do your stitches so to Avoid that. What I'm doing is I'm pushing the stuffing with my finger here. So whenever I insert my crochet, I'm not taking any stuffing and then I can complete my single crochet stitch. I'm going to place my stitch marker and then we're going to do a decrease using the next two stitches. Okay. And then we're going to repeat that around. So one, single crochet stitch, one, decrease. So I'm going to let you work and we're going to meet at the end of round 14 and you should have a total of 16 stitches around and you should also finish with a decrease. Okay, so I'm at the end of round 14. We're almost done. Don't give up now. <laughs> so for round 15, we're going to do one single crochet stitch in each stitch around keeping your stitch count at 16 and we're going to meet at the end of round 15. Now at the end of round 15, my heart looks like this and I'm going to add a little bit more stuffing now. And the place I want to stuff now is the edge of the heart. 
right here and there just to shape it the way I want. Okay, so I'm just pushing the stuffing with my finger on both sides. I'm going to speed up the video. Okay, now let's start round 16. We only have two more rounds to do, so 16 and 17. So for round 16, we're going to do decreases around. So I'm going to start by making an invisible decrease using the next two stitches. I'm going to place my stitch marker and I'm going to do seven more decreases. So you should have a total of eight stitches around. So I'm going to do another one with you. And for that round, make sure that you always pull on your yarn to tighten up your stitches and to make sure that there's no holes between your stitches. Okay, so every time I'm making a decrease, I'm pulling on my yarn to make sure that this is really tight. And then I'm going into the next two stitches. Okay, we're going to meet at the end of that round with eight stitches. I'm finishing up my round 16 with my decrease. And my heart looks like this. I'm going to stuff it up still a little bit more because I see that I have some room here. So I'm going to speed up the video to do that. Okay, my heart looks like this and let's do our last round. So we're going to start by making an invisible decrease to start round 17. So using the next two front loops. Take your time for that round. I know uh, there's not a lot of uh, room left to hold your piece. So I've just made an invisible decrease. I'm going to place my stitch marker. And then I'm going to make two single crochet stitches. And then an invisible decrease. So using the next two front loops. And then we're going to finish the round with two single crochet stitches. So I know they are small, but I have one and two. Okay. And then you can remove your stitch marker and I'm going to slip stitch into the last stitch of my round. So I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch. I'm going to yarn over, pull through everything like this. Then I'm going to cut my yarn, leaving about uh, six inches again, or 15 centimeters. And I'm going to pull it through. Okay. So I know that this is really small. It's only six stitches, but if you can use your scissors or even a pen, pencil, or your crochet hook to stuff it a little bit more. And then we'll be done. So I'm just going to show you what I do when it's small like this. So I'm placing the stuffing on top of the hole and then I'm just pushing with my scissors inside the piece. And every time I'm pushing with my scissors, I'm holding the stuffing with my uh, finger. Then I'm going to add more just to make sure that the uh, tip is full. And then I'm going to show you how to close the opening. Okay, so let's close the opening. You can do that with your crochet hook or with your yarn needle. I'm going to show you with the crochet hook once again. So I'm going to um, insert my crochet hook from the inside going out. And I want to insert it um, into the front loops only of the next six stitches. So I'm going into the front loop of the next stitch. So you see my uh, knot is here from the slip stitch. I'm going to insert my hook into the front loop only, like so. I'm going to yarn over, or you can just wrap it, and then pull through. Okay, And you want to repeat that into each stitch. 
So I've worked into this one here, and then I'm gonna go into the next with my crochet hook from the inside going out. Yarning over, pulling through, and I'm gonna show you with a yarn needle if ever you wanna work with a yarn needle. So I've done two. Now I'm going into the next front loop but with the yarn needle. You're going to go from the outside going in. So basically you want to bring the yarn tail in. So just like so, pulling through. I have three front loops done. Four. Five. And six. And then I'm going to pull on the yarn tail to close the open. And then I'm going to hide the yarn tail, so I'm going to go in, back into the middle, so into the hole that we just closed. And then I'm going to bring my yarn needle somewhere else in the heart, pulling through. Don't pull too hard because then you won't have <laughs> that little tip here at the, at the bottom of the heart. Okay, and I'm going to show you if you're using jumbo yarn and you want to hide the yarn tail uh, without a yarn needle, you can use your crochet hook as well. So with your crochet hook, you're going to insert it between two stitches. And then you're going to go into the same stitch where the yarn tail is. Push your crochet hook out and then yarn the, wrap the yarn over and then pull through. Okay, and then I want to do that one more time. If you have stuffing uh, showing, don't worry too much. Uh, that's because of the hook. So I'm going to do it one more time with the yarn needle and with the yarn needle you want to go back into the same stitch and then out somewhere else in the heart pull okay place the stitches where the yarn was if it's showing a little and then we're gonna cut the yarn so to cut the yarn just pull on the yarn tail a little and then cut it and it's gonna go back inside and there you go your heart is done awesome work everyone so good job if you're still uh, here with me I hope you enjoy the tutorial I hope you uh, learn a new stitches or um, new techniques with me in that tutorial make sure to subscribe to my channel I have many other tutorials if you want to check them out make sure to leave a comment and to like the video and make sure to tag me on Facebook and Instagram my links are in the description and I'll see you back with another video bye everyone